Hi everyone, it's Kav here, and today I'm going to be discussing why J.K. Rowling's transphobia matters. Before I get into that though, I want to take a moment to acknowledge the resurgence of the Black Lives Matter movement in response to the murders of George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, and Breonna Taylor. I want to emphasize that the Black Lives Matter movement has existed for years, but often, after certain racist murders by the police get more media attention, the movement also gets more attention from the public for a certain period of time. Far too often, the movement comes and goes in waves, which is unacceptable as that mentality treats black lives as a trend. Black people's lives are not a trend, and every single one of us must not rest until every single black person feels and is safe. Keeping that in mind, in the description of this video, I have provided links to petitions, donation sites, Black-owned businesses, and recent videos by Black booktubers that I highly suggest you all watch. Please take the time to look through the links in the description and also to support all of the booktubers mentioned. As for today's video, I'm going to be discussing why J.K. Rowling's transphobia matters. I thought a lot about how I wanted to go about discussing the incessant amount of transphobia I've been seeing over the past week, and I finally settled on this video. So let's get into it. J.K. Rowling is a known transphobe. She has been making bigoted comments about trans people, trans women in particular, for months. Earlier this week, she went on yet another transphobic rampage on her Twitter. And in response to the rightful backlash she received for these hateful tweets, Rowling decided to write an essay to explain her thoughts on the trans community. I read this essay. It triggered me so much that I almost had a panic attack after reading it. I could not stop physically shaking for a significant amount of time after I read it. Rowling's essay was filled with misinformation and bigoted comments towards the trans community. While the bigotry came as no surprise, the misinformation was truly infuriating. Considering the high number of likely uneducated people who read Rowling's essay, a notable amount of people likely took in those falsehoods that Rowling presented as fact. J.K. Rowling has a huge platform. It's probable that she has a number of young impressionable followers as well. At the very least, she does have people who are uneducated on the trans community following her. Of that, I am sure. Because of the size of her platform, Rowling's despicable and inaccurate comments are entering the minds of countless people. Every single one of us is affected by the people around us, the media we consume, and more. The media we consume include social media, and following an arrogant transphobe shows that you not only condone transphobia, but also leads you to take in and internalize the transphobic views that she constantly and proudly shares. Beyond that, Rowling's hateful rhetoric also inspires other transphobes to forcefully share their own transphobic thoughts. Transphobic voices grow louder as they feel safe and comforted by Rowling's leading voice. And, heartbreakingly, the members of the trans and non-binary community who once found a home and sought refuge in this story no longer can. In a world that relentlessly reminds us that we are not welcome in it, a story of magic and hope was an escape for many of us. That escape now feels like a prison. Many people say this about Harry Potter and other childhood series they love. I can't let go of the nostalgia! It was my favorite series as a kid and I don't want to let go of that. To them I say, what about the trans people who loved Harry Potter? What about the trans people whose favorite series was Harry Potter? We don't have the privilege of looking away from Rowling's bigotry for any reason. Now I do want to acknowledge that beyond Rowling's transphobia, the Harry Potter series is also anti-Semitic and racist. Both of those are just as important, but I would like to focus specifically on the issue of transphobia in this video. I also want to acknowledge that Rowling's transphobic essay did hurt the autistic trans community in particular. She made comments that implied that trans autistic people are just confused and use their autism as a way to explain why they think they're trans. I may not be autistic myself, but I can recognize that her comments had a significant impact on the autistic trans community, and I feel it is only right to acknowledge that. People have been making jokes where they want to pretend that Harry Potter has no author, or that someone else is the author of Harry Potter, in order for them to feel more at ease about enjoying the series. Aside from the Harry Potter series itself having glaring issues in terms of representation, you cannot 
separate art from the artist. The art one creates is directly tied to their values as a human being. Everything we do in life is influenced by our values as our values make us who we are. So there is no supporting the Harry Potter series without supporting J.K. Rowling. Supporting Harry Potter is supporting J.K. Rowling. Seven members of the movie cast have commented on J.K. Rowling's transphobia and all of them have opposed it in some way. Daniel Radcliffe, Emma Watson, Rupert Grint, Eddie Redmayne, Bonnie Wright, Katie Lung, and Ivana Lynch have all made statements regarding it. In my personal opinion, Daniel Radcliffe's statement was the best, so I will link it in the description below. But I want to take a moment to talk about Ivana Lynch's now-deleted statement because I think it perfectly exemplifies how not to respond. Lynch does open her statement by saying she supports the trans community, but then immediately transitions into a two-page essay defending J.K. Rowling. Her entire statement is dedicated to defending Rowling's character and urging us all to be more loving and accepting. She writes something along the lines of, fans shouldn't bully or hate people on the other side of the debate. There is a lot to dissect there. Firstly, there is no debate about trans people. Trans people exist and the other side of the debate is just bigoted people who refuse to acknowledge our existence and who sometimes even make attempts to revoke and withhold our human rights. Trans people and people in general are well within their right to hate someone who is arguing against the human rights of an entire group of people for the sheer reason that they have the audacity to exist. Speaking out against a woman who was posting vitriolic commentary on her public Twitter is not bullying, it is defending the rights of the community that she began targeting. In a 2018 study done by the Human Rights Campaign, it was reported that more than half of transgender male teens who participated in the survey reported attempting suicide in their lifetime, while 29.9% of transgender female teens said they attempted suicide. Among non-binary youth, 41.8% of respondents stated that they had attempted suicide at some point in their life. As a suicide attempt survivor myself, my gender as a non-binary person significantly contributed to both of my attempts. Bullying is what trans and non-binary youth experience from peers, family, and the online world. Bullying is not speaking out against an outspoken bigot. This is why Rowling's transphobia matters. It is only further igniting a society in which trans and non-binary people are already told that we are not wanted or seen. On Friday, on the anniversary of Pulse, the President of the United States legalized medical discrimination against non-cis people. This is the world we are living in. Rowling is not some outlier in an accepting and loving world. She is the voice of how society sees and treats us. Earlier this week, I was watching a YouTube video that had nothing to do with trans people, yet somehow there was still a thread of transphobic comments under it. This is daily life. Trans kids cannot tell their families who they really are for fear of being kicked out. Trans and non-binary people have to decide whether to come out every time we get a new job or meet a new person and decide whether the risk is worth it. We have to deal with constant misgendering and dead naming. At the very least, we'll be called a few slurs and can go on our way. And at the very worst, we could end up dead. J.K. Rowling's transphobia matters, and your reaction to it matters. Will you pretend J.K. Rowling didn't write the Harry Potter series and continue supporting it in your comfortable privilege? Or will you do the right thing and separate yourself from her and all of her work entirely? Will you learn what you can do to be an ally to the trans community, or will you turn away from us entirely? I have supported the Harry Potter series on my channel and my other social media in the past, but starting now, you will never see me do so again. I will not support this series or this author in my private or public life. I promise you that. And if you still support Harry Potter, unsubscribe and unfollow me. I don't want your support. Your actions matter. 
And speaking of, remember to check out the resources for the Black Lives Matter movement in the description below. Good allyship is doing the work every day, so please check them out and do what you can to be a good ally. That's gonna be all for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you took away something useful from it. I hope you're staying safe and healthy right now and that you're also taking care of your mental health. If you did gain something from this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Comment down below and let me know what you will be doing to support trans people in the book community going forward. As usual, all of my social media, my Goodreads, and my coffee will be linked in the description below if you'd like to support me anywhere else. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're staying safe and healthy in this time. I hope you're taking care of your mental health. Please remember that you are beautiful and you deserve the world, and I will see you soon for a brand new video. Goodbye!